in your life? Aloha. My name is Geraldine Harvey, and I'm the Global Account Manager for Outrigger Hotels and Resorts. Um, I cover Southern California from Fresno down, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Colorado, and parts of Alabama. And um, I'm here to teach you all about all the new and wonderful things that are happening with Outrigger. Now we're going to move to the next slide, and I'm going to show you some of our destinations. Again, there's my name. And um, so most people don't know that Outrigger is worldwide. They think that we're still just basically in Hawaii, but we put our global footprint out there, and we are in many destinations. And Asia Pacific is our more luxury uh, boutique hotel. So the top right is the Maldives. The top middle is um, Thai, is actually Mauritius off the coast of South Africa. Top left is our Waikiki beachfront. And then we have Guam below that. It is 600 rooms, five star. And then we have pictures of Phuket. And then the reef, which is our, our iconic beachfront in Waikiki. Coast Samui under the Maldives picture to the far right. And then there's in the one behind me is Castaway Island in Fiji. And then the bottom left is is Laguna Pacat. So you're going to be seeing a lot of these wonderful, beautiful properties and learning more about our product line. And we're going to be moving on to the next slide. So this is our agent program. This is going to benefit you and your clients. When you go on to our website, Outrigger Expert Agent or Outrigger Expert Authorities, we're changing it to because we look at you more as professionals and not just travel agents. And that this is a loyalty program that keeps giving for you and your clients. So once you put the booking in, after you take the course and you get your um, loyalty number, whenever you have an amenity you want to request at one of our properties, once you log your booking in, it's like a bank account, you get the points that you can redeem later on for cash, and then your clients will get an amenity, whether it's a box of cookies from the Honolulu Cookie Company, or chocolates, or a bottle of champagne if they're honeymooners, you know, you just let us know. And if you want to send me an email and say just to make sure we flag it, or they're very special to you. So not only do we put this gift in their room, but we put a card in the room with from you and so that they know that you took care of them so you get the points they get the amenity and then later on you can cash in your points this is also where we're going to keep track of you and know where you're at in as far as how much bookings you've given us in business in case you need to come to visit our hotels also your travel agent rates will be on this site any fans any updates with the properties whether they're going through renovations or you know anything new and exciting with promotions then that will all be on the um, expert agent site. Now we're gonna be moving on to the next, and just so you see the picture behind me, the wedding um, couple, that is something we offer complimentary at both beach sites. So wedding bell renewals, complimentary, the entertain entertainment's complimentary, all the cultural um, entertainment and experiences are complimentary, and we like to think that we're giving your clients back more with a lot of added value. And you'll learn more about that in the next slides. So this is something that we offer to all of our, all of your clients, just for the resort fee. We don't just take their money and then charge them for Wi-Fi. We give them something back. So they get, we, we have a private shuttle for both of our beach fronts and for the outrigger Waikiki beachcomber. And it takes them all through Waikiki, inside Diamond Head Crater, downtown Hulu, Alamona Shopping Center, operates all day, every day. We also give them coupons when they check in. And that booklet is worth $75. It's good for restaurants, retail stores, and a lot of the venues they're gonna go to, like the little museum of art bishop museum and they can use that and save quite a bit we also give them offer them free wi-fi international and local calls two bottles of water in the room newspaper wine coffee and children that are with their parents five and under can get um uh, a free breakfast so there's a lot of added value that we offer besides the nightly entertainment and the um the cultural activities is um, another thing that we offer. Please excuse me for that. Another thing that we offer 
is um, when they check in, it's the cultural experiences, and we give them the cold towel and the nice um, cold drink as they check in, and we go over everything with them. And this is something we call a signature experience. Coincidentally, the same name as the consortia, but completely different. It's just a heightened experience that we offer at our Asia Pacific properties, and we offer at our two beachfront resorts. And so that's just a lot of extra things. And then we also put an amenity in their room, whether it's a, uh, the beach bag will be in their room, but we also give them a departure gift as well. So lots of things that we give back to your clients. And on to the next slide. So this is some new things that have happened at the Waikiki Reef, and we have a lot more changes to come. We put cabanas around the pool area, and we offer that with a promotion that we have. It's called the Beach Bed and Breakfast. And that is if you book your clients um, four nights, the fourth night is free, and it includes breakfast or brunch at Outrigger Waikiki. Or if they're at the Reef, it includes breakfast, or they can swap it out for a couple of hours at the pool for the cabana. Up in the top left picture is the new restaurant we took out the shorebird and we put in the reef market bar and grill which is more local farm to table and you could still grill your own there as we did at the shorebird so a lot of um, great things happen at the reef we'll also be doing some renovations and um bring this property up to more of a five-star level that will be going on through 2020 and we won't you won't even your clients won't even see anything happening until towards the end and of course we're going to advise everyone about that and probably offer some kind of um, discounted rates for um, clients that are staying there when we have to do the public areas but they're just going to buffer the rooms in between and on the top floors we're going to be putting in suites when you walk into the reef you're going to be able to see the ocean it's going to be a whole different look but just gorgeous and we're looking forward to it on to the next slide So the two towers at the reef, just so you know, um, the ocean tower, those, those for your clients that want that ocean front, and even if they're in the corner suites or the ocean view suites, they get a phenomenal view. So do you know when you have your clients in the corner suites in the Pacific Tower, it's going to be a completely different look if they were in the ocean tower. So be careful and make sure you specify for clients that are staying in the various towers at this property. I'm going to go on to the next slide. We have club categories at both of our beach fronts. There's only seven beach fronts in Waikiki. We have two of the seven beach fronts, and they kind of uh, bookend most of the properties there. So at the Outrigger Waikiki, we just opened it less than a year ago, and that is the one on the left-hand side. It's gorgeous outdoor, indoor. It sits above Duke's. Um, it's oceanfront and diamond head view. Every morning, it's a heavy breakfast at both of them. It's a heavy buffet and all you can eat, and your cappuccinos and stuff. And every evening, it's unlimited cocktails with heavy appetizers. I call it a mini buffet because that's what it is. It's like five hot shaking dishes, your soups, your sushis, your salads, your desserts, and then your cocktails. And there's always nightly music that you can hear, so it's actually a great added bonus. And if they're at the Outrigger Waikiki Beach, they're on the floors that are 16 to 18, so they have phenomenal views and express elevators. At the reef, it's, it's different that they're scattered throughout the property, and so anyone can really afford them. You don't have to have an oceanfront room. It's basically about an add-on of about $90 to $99. Um, as opposed to the other rate. So the reef is on the right-hand side. They also have ocean front, and there's indoor views and outdoor. And we're on to the next. So here's just another um, spectacular view of the one in Waikiki, just showing you as they eat at the buffet on the bottom left picture. And then the champagne and wine and beers are, are flowing. And this one at Outreach. Outrigger Waikiki sits above Duke's, so at sunset you can listen to the music that's playing nightly at Duke's. And on Sundays they have concerts with Henry Capono, and so the beach is packed and it's really nice to be able to sit up there. Next. Well, the slide before that showed all the various activities that we offer at the Outrigger Waikiki. Um, can we go back to the previous slide? 
it kind of whiz through. This is it. This is the one that shows you all the entertainment we have at both properties. We do concerts. We do nightly entertainment. We have a jazz nightclub there, the Blue Note Jazz Lounge. And we could have anyone there from Bruno Mars to Kenny G or Harry Connick Jr., as well as any famous jazz artists. This is one of the many Blue Note worldwide clubs. They're in Moscow. They're in uh, China. They're in New York. And they have a circuit. So we have the only one in Hawaii. On Duke's, we have nightly entertainment on Sundays. In the bottom left, we have Henry Capano. That actually, he is normally in big stadiums, so we're glad to have him. And on the bottom right, we have the Connie Capella Grill. And nightly entertainment, we have some of the top entertainers that actually have concerts in Hawaii. And they're complimentary at the um, at our two hotels, our two beach fronts. We also offer this at the Waikiki Beachcomber as well. Uh, next. So just some of the, um, you know, iconic views of the Outrigger Waikiki. This is the one that's located in between the Pink Hotel, the Royal Hawaiian, and the Moana Hotel. So we do paddleboard. We do stand-up paddleboard. We do yoga on the beach. We do all kinds of activities, and all the non-motorized activities are included. Another thing that your clients will benefit from are the Outrigger Canoe Clubs. They're only $10 for your guests as opposed to $35, which the general public. And they will get that discount by using those coupons ponds in the booklet that's offered but as you can see there's so many things and it's just a gorgeous view it's beautiful at night even to walk around as well and this is where the beach comes alive at the outrigger waikiki next so again to reiterate this is the signature experience the local arrival greeting with the cold towel, the cold tropical drink, the in-room amenity um, beach bag, and it's a nice woven beach bag, and then the uh, farewell amenity. It could be a dessert, it could be a calendar, it could be a picture frame, uh, various things. Next slide. So we're on to Embassy Suites. We have several properties that we manage that are not part of the Outrigger um, core brand, and they were a part of um, the land that the Kelly family owned. So Embassy Suites is one of them. We manage this property. It's basically across the street from the reef, and it sits on top of the Waikiki Beach Walk, where there's 40 different shops and restaurants. You have the two towers. Okay, the one to the far right is the one that would be closest with the views of the ocean. And then, of course, the other tower would be views of the, the mountains and the city view. So at this property, you know, you get the daily full made-to-order breakfast, um, the evening poolside reception, and you can see the view of the pool sitting on top. That's the grand um, area where they have all kinds of activities. They have an evening cocktail reception with poo-poos, and then that's where the big breakfast is. They have one and two bedroom suites and featuring the private bedrooms, separate living room with sofa sleeper and kitchenette. And those are spacious with two full bathrooms. And we're going to see an image of them in the next slide. So as you see, this two bedroom here it comes with two full baths. And I find that that's most important. I don't care how many people you can squeeze in a room. If you don't have two full bathrooms, then it's going to be hectic for people waiting. So they have two full bathrooms and there's dining room table set up for six people. The sofa sleeper is a memory foam and it's queen size. So it's very spacious. And then you have your two separate bedrooms and it's just a great setup with your refrigerator, microwave and wet bar. Next slide. Again, to just show you how close they are to the ocean. Because they sit up on top of the beach walk, you can see the ocean from the pool. On the right-hand side, that building there is the reef. On the left-hand side is the Holly Kalani, which are both beach fronts. They do the yoga on the left-hand side. We see the wall, and there's a little bit of water coming down the waterfall. They do yoga classes there in the morning. This picture doesn't show you really how wide and big it is, but it's, it's, it's extremely big. And every evening is where they do the cocktail reception, so it's really nice with the nightly music. Next slide. 
again, to show you what it sits on top of. 40 restaurants, shops, and entertainment. And where you see this fountain right here, that also doubles as a stage. And they also have nightly entertainment there, hula shows, all kinds of things. This is like a center of activity. It used to be the quiet side of Waikiki, but no longer. And there's so much action and great restaurants here to choose from for your clients. Next slide. Now, this we take great pride and we just launched and reopened the Outrigger Waikiki Beachcomber. We purchased it from Holiday Inn and rebranded it after about two years of construction and $55 million renovation. So this property is great. It's got the living wall on the outside with the beachwood look. We've changed a lot of the things and we have little... Um, Things to commemorate Don Ho because Don Ho got his start here when it used to be called Don the Beachcomber. Next slide. You'll see little remnants of it. The bottom left picture, the little tiny bubble chandelier on the way up the escalator to the lobby, and then the bubbles, tiny bubbles coming up um, in the fish tank to the right, or the tanks to the right, and that's behind the uh, bellmen. But it's a whole different look, and you'll see that as we move through the slides. Next. This property is gorgeous. We have um, several influences that are famous in Hawaii. One of them is Zach Noyle, who's famous worldwide for his ocean photography. And his murals are in every one of the rooms. So all the rooms have this huge mural. Um, and we're very lucky to have Zach Noyle do all these. Um, he does a lot of stuff for Apple and Nike. And he's, uh, you'll see the pictures throughout the property. But they're state of the art. They have smart TVs. We have the JBL or Bose docking sound system, refrigerators in the room, safes in the room, robes and slippers, the amenities are nicer, everything is brand new, and, and just, it's a gorgeous property. Next slide. So some of the lobby views, next slide. We have the international marketplace to the far right. I think we skipped some slides oh, of the other rooms. Can we go back a little bit? One more. Hmm. Okay, we'll advance ahead then. I'm so sorry. I thought there was some we were missing of the two bedrooms. But we'll go back to the one at International Marketplace right here. So we have the International Marketplace on the right-hand side. And that is where um, all your restaurants and stuff are on the third floor. And then all the entertainment and, and a lot of great shops down below. On the left-hand bottom picture is the Maui Brewing Company. That will be open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And for the beach bed and breakfast promo at this property, where the fourth night's free, breakfast included, will be at the Maui Brewing Company. They also have another promotion there where you... You get your um, growler and you can refill your growler um, I'm unlimited times or something like that. And that will be posted and we'll be sending that to you when you sign up with our program. Um, but the Maui Burns have excellent food and they have um, nightly entertainment. Above this is where Don Ho got his start when it was called Don the Beachcomber. And it's called the Magic of Polynesia. It's still a staple of the hotel and is nightly shows located at the Waikiki Beachcomber. Next slide. The next slide is showing the Ohana properties. They're a block off from the beach, moderately priced, good for families, reunion, or people on a budget. They're beautiful properties. They have been around for a long time, so they've got the spacious rooms. They either have restaurants in the property, the Outrigger uh, Ohana East 
it's got three restaurants. It's got Chuck Cellar. It's got um, Tanaka of Tokyo, which is like a Benihana, and then um, a, an Italian fire oven pizza. And then the Ohana uh, Malia, located behind the International Marketplace, is right there in the heart of all the restaurants and stop. And it's got the indoor swimming pool. And so we have lots to offer and lots of great travel agent rates at all of our property. Next slide. Now we go over to our Waikiki condos. We have what we call our Hawaii vacation condos. We do not own these, we manage them. There is one that we own and I'll show you that and reiterate on that property in Maui. But we um, want to expand our portfolio and offer more to our loyalty members. So right next door to the reef, and they also have signing privileges at the spa at the reef. And it's, it's just to let you know, both of our beachfront properties have spas on the top floor. So if you're staying at the Waikiki Shore, they have signing privileges to the reef, and they can also go to the, um, the pool and the spa. The Regency on Beachwalk is near the embassy. See suites. It's got three restaurants in the lobby, 60 rooms, just has all the modern conveniences of a home with your washing machine and dryer, your full kitchens, and it's a lovely property and right in the heart of the Beachwalk area. Next slide. So now we're over on the island of Kauai. Hawaii is in the shape of a horseshoe as far as how the road goes around the island. So if you're starting over in Keohuna Plantation, this is our property where all of your clients that check in, they check in at the main area where Plantation Gardens restaurant is. And that's also your clients that stay with us have access to the beach club where the tennis club is and the fitness center. And they also have a little like a, it's like a beach swimming pool. And so all of your clients will have access to that. It's on a gorgeous beach called Poipu Beach, which is on the south side of the island. That would make it about 35 minutes from the Lehui Airport. They are more plantation style. Um, units and they're all over and they have barbecues set up and everything so it's a lovely property very popular Lainani is in the middle of the island in the Wailua area and this property is located right behind the coconut plantation shopping center so lots to do for your client it's a low rise and it has a, a gated um, area so they will give your clients a combination um, to get into that community. By Poli Beach, we spared no expenses. It's got this three acre lazy river swimming pool. It has spas. They have all the state of the art kitchen appliances from Sub Zero refrigerator, Viking stoves, and it's just a gorgeous property. And they're all on beautiful beaches as well. Next slide. So now we're over on the island, the big island, and on the Waikoloa side, in, and that's all called the Kohala Coast area as well, are the Fairway Villas. This is a golfer's mecca. It's right along the fairway of the golf course. Check-in for your clients would be at the King's Shopping Center, right above Tiffany's Jewelry, and they... If they happen to come in after the store, um, after the office is closed, then they will contact your, you and contact your clients and give them a code to get into the building, leave instructions in the unit, and either have a lockbox on the door or they'll leave the key under the mat. So everything is, is taken care of if your clients arrive on a later flight. But this is a gorgeous property, and they go up to three bedrooms. The Kahala Coast Collection are more high-end, and there's about eight within that whole collection. Over on the Kona side, we have Kanaloa Kona, about 15 minutes from the Keaholi Airport, and Royal Seacliff as well, about 15 minutes from the airport. We just purchased a new property, um, and that is in Keaho, and so stay tuned as we evolve with that property and it's a very large property and we're looking forward to all the things that we're going to be doing to renovate it and bring it up to the standards of Outrigger. Next slide. Now we're on the island of Maui. We have seven condos to choose from. Only three on this slide but I'll tell you more about the next one because that is a purchase that we own. 
Aina Nalu is located in Lahaina. You can drive right up, walk into your unit. It's more of this um, Balinese style with Zen um, statues and waterfalls. It's a huge property. You can walk into Front Street. A couple of villas. It's a legend. It's a destination. 21,000 acres, several golf courses. We have villas all over. We have them on the uh, gold fronts on the ocean. We have along the ridge and the golf course area. And it's a beautiful property. And they also go up to three bedrooms. Maui El Dorado is another golfer's mecca where the units are all along the golf course. And we also have the beach hut area where your clients can go there and they can set up at the beach there's refrigerators there's grills there's everything to spend the day there and have a big cookout napili shores we have something no this is our cute little charming property and napili is located past kanapali and before kapalua it's a charming little place and we will in 2020 all the units will be air conditioned so this is a property whether it was air conditioned or not it's always a popular one and so we're very proud and it's had so many awards for hospitality the palms at wailea is right there in the heart it's right next to the um, shops at wailea mediterranean style split level it's about a oh i guess a 15 minute 20 minute walk to the beach or a five minute drive and they're all throughout the areas with stainless steel barbecues and their lovely properties. The Royal Kahana is a, everyone has an oceanfront view. However, a beach resort, it is an oceanfront resort. So, and I think all the memos had gone out over a year or two ago with the wholesalers. So, but still lovely property, lovely units. Next slide. The next slide is the Hanoakai Resort and Spa. Um, we, we were purchased by KSL about two years ago, and so there's a lot of acquisitions and a lot of uh, renovations to our property. This is one of our acquisitions. We purchased it in March, and it is part of the loyalty program in 2020. Um, so you get amenities for your clients, and this is a lovely property. Even though it's a condominium, it operates like a full-service resort. It's a gorgeous property. They also spared no expenses with the kitchens. Next slide. They have a three-acre aquatic playground. They have, again, the sub-zero refrigerators, the generous stoves, and you can see it's a gorgeous property on the beach. And we have Duke's right there on the beach where they have nightly entertainment. We have our elite suite where the Lanai is 2,000 square feet. So there are so many choices with your clients. And we just finished doing the villas, which are 6,000 square feet. Some go up to five bedrooms. And stay tuned for those because they'll be coming soon. Gorgeous spa there as well. And it's in a great location. Next slide. Now we're on to our Asia Pacific properties. We have two properties in Fiji, and that is Castaway Island. You can only get there by helicopter, boat, or um, seaplane. The property to the right is our five-star Fijian property called the Outrigger Fiji Beach. They have burrays, they have main building, and that building at the top there on the top of the hill is the wedding chapel it's all glass and the spas are all glass with views overlooking the coral coastline and they have a tapas lounge up there restaurant this property is huge it's got everything there and we'll be going into that next slide So Outrigger Fiji Beach we're starting with, and this is the one that's about an hour from the Nandi Airport, and this is all located on the island of Vitu Lebu. And this has so many different rooms. So we say this is where Fijian uh, village meets five-star luxury. And they've got the spa up there, the wedding chapel, so they do lots of weddings, a huge pool. They also have the adult area, for the adult pool, adult swim-up bar, adult restaurant. But this place has about eight different restaurants and bars and places. They range 
lanes. They have pool parts or there's zip lining, water slides. There is so much to do here. Plus, they have outreach programs for when families come there and they want their children to do something and give back. And they take them to Fijian villages or schools to paint the schools and various things like that. So we'll go on to the next slide. So just to let you know, like I said, one hour drive from the Nandi Airport, 252 rooms, including 47 berets, six restaurants, six bars, facilities, two pools, including adult only, the award-winning spas called the Bembe Spa, golf driving range, community tourist projects, tennis courts, water sports, nanny service, kids clubs. And they're included in some of the package too with the nannies in the evening. So the um, the parents can go out and enjoy themselves. Weddings, experts in delivering exceptional wedding um, destination weddings. And then they have butler service there. Um, it's called Talai Butler Service, included in all room types from deluxe ocean view upwards. And just some more pictures of the pool area. Next slide. So I'm not going to get into this because it pretty much will tell you, but it's on 40 vibrant acres along the coast, uh, Coral Coastline, and it's got so many award-winning restaurants and weddings. And then the Vahuvu uh, swimming pool, the daily Fijian cultural activities, including the kava ceremony, and a lot of great things. And the wedding chapel is amazing. Next slide. This man here is the Bula Man. He greets everyone after 8 o'clock in the morning, all day long, until about 8 o'clock at night. So you'll hear him if, your client, if you ever go there, and he goes, Bula, all day. Anyway, so here's some um, views of the berets. And the top picture is the beret, the interior, and the picture underneath that is the main building. The difference between this property and Castaway is they have televisions, they have telephones, um, and, and the butler service, whereas Castaway does not have televisions or telephones in the room. They want you to unwind and, and log off. Next slide. We've been renovating this property, so on the next slide you'll see the new renovations and the new rooms. This is one of the award-winning restaurants. Ivy is the more um, white linen tablecloth restaurant, the one on the left. And the one on the right is our Sundowner restaurant, gorgeous sunsets, and they have Wagyu steak and all kinds of um, cuisine there, and it's just a wonderful island grill at the Sundowner. Next. And we do offer meal plans at both properties. All of our properties that are, um, well, the two in Fiji and then Maldives offer a meal plan because we are the only ones there on the island of Castaway and, and Maldives. So they have the kids club for three years um, and then the nanny service, six months of three years, the butler service and the adult only zones with the resort, including the adult only pool. So you just see the pictures of the butler in the middle and then the nannies. And the nannies are just amazing. Next slide. So the new beret bur exterior. So this is the new front entrance with the new tile floors and the furniture. Next slide. The interiors. So they're just beautifully done with the top of ceilings and just that true Fijian style. Next slide. And then this is the spa. Spa treatments, as you can see, they're way up on the top of the hill. So they have these amazing views. They do tandem treatments, couples treatments. They do all kinds. Top right pictures is the top of lounge. So they have amazing views. They call the stargazing lounge up there. And then the bottom picture is the entrance to the spa. Next slide. The adult swimming pool and the adult restaurant. Next slide. This is the wedding chapel. And it's just the most amazing views of the Coral Coastline. And then they do the wedding reception down by the adult uh, 
uh, pool area. But the spa has the same view. It's all glass overlooking the oceans. And while you're waiting for your therapist to come, it just smells of rosemary and lavender. So this is the Talai Touch. This is the butler service. Every night, they, they will, of course, call you every day. They'll pack for you, unpack for you. They'll come in every night with a canapé and a glass of champagne to start. Or at the evening, you'll come back and you'll find a nice liqueur on your bed. But they're there for your needs, and they're amazing, and they can book anything for you um whatever you need done things to be ironed and they're wonderful to have quite spoiling next slide so again the views of the bembe spa and they have the milk baths and look at that view so you're way up there and you see over everything next slide This is a package that we offer, Castaway and Outrigger Fiji Beach. We recommend you drive to Outrigger Fiji Beach. And then from there, you take the helicopter over to Castaway. And then you can take the boat back or you can take a water taxi back. And but basically, one adult will fly for free if they do this combo package. And it's the fastest way to get to both properties. And it's just an amazing visual view when you're flying from Vitu Lebu over the Mamanuka Islands to Castaway and arrive there. Castaway Island, I call it the Barefoot Island, with the barefoot general manager there and when you get there you have to pretty much step into the water if you're coming by the boat because they take you from the big boat to the little boat and they just say just keep your shoes off at that point but it's a gorgeous property and you're going to see that in the next slide this is lady castaway look at that view it has about 30 different dive sites within 20 minutes we have a five-star paddy dive team uh, 60 breweries, but they are building more because it's so popular. It's, it's been a little hard to get in. Great for families, great for honeymooners. They're going to build more on the um, right-hand side where it'll be a little more private for your honeymooners. But this is an amazing resort, and the dives and activities and nanny program they have there and the food is amazing. That, um, your clients will be completely satisfied. Next slide. So the new look at Castaway, they had a um, cyclone hit about four years ago, I think, and blessing in disguise because we got a new renovation of the entire property. So all the berets are, uh, are renovated inside, outside roofs, and it's just a, a nice, really nice look. So these are some of the new berets. Next slide. They're all glass, so you can get a great visual of them. Um, and the interior of the berets with the true Fijian look. So you can um, sleep for people. Um, you can either use that as a couch or you can use that for sleeping for two children and then the bedroom in the back. So this is the various ways to get to Castaway Island by helicopter, seaplane, or South Seas boats. And you see how they transfer you from the big boat to the little boat. But they can only go so far with the Duffy and there's like a little bit of ankle water and then you have to roll up your pant leg and get on. But as you can see the picture to the right, you have Nandi and then Castaway is about a 40 Five minute boat ride off to the coast of that if they just want to go to Castaway. Otherwise, if they want to do the drive from Nandi to Outrigger Fiji Beach on the bottom on the Coral Coastline, um, it's near um, Sigatoka or Suva, and then they can go along the Mamanukos over to Castaway Island. Next slide. So, the Nanuku Maru Family Pool, lots of activities here at Castaway Island. Next slide. The family pool and an adult pool. So this is the adult pool, swim up bar, um, bottom left adult pool. Bottom right is the restaurant that they have right there, ocean side. They also have one that kind of cantilevers over the water, and at night when the tide comes up, you feel like you're out on a pontoon. It's just gorgeous. And the food there, like I said, is amazing. You can get sushi, ice cream, hamburgers, whatever you want in the daytime at the at the snack bar. And so there's the one I was talking about, the bottom left picture. When the tide comes up, it's just almost like it's floating on water, and it's just a great evening 
Korean restaurant with wonderful food. Very um, small island. Everyone gets to know each other. Next slide. Now we're over into our little further into Asia, and the Navasana Spa is something that is in all of our Asia Pacific properties. It's an amazing spa with all the water treatments and the amazing therapists, and that you're going to see that at our Maldives, at Thailand, Guam, all of these properties that are more of our five-star or luxury boutique. Next slide. And our outrigger um, club rooms on Oahu all have the amenities from the Navasana Spa. Now we're over on the um, Indian Ocean in the Maldives on Magafu Dalu Atoll. This property is gorgeous, and they also a meal plan, half court, full bud, with alcohol, without alcohol. So there's many options, and there's some of the rooms here. The bottom right picture is the infinity pool in our major, in our, our big presidential suite, which you'll see more pictures of. Several restaurants, um, community <laughs> pool there for everyone. There's about it takes about 2,500 steps to go around the whole island. So some of the villas, on the beach villas, are kind of tucked back, but you can actually see the ocean but it actually helps keep it a little more private for people that are walking around the island top picture top right picture is the, the the pool for everyone but a lot of them the over the waters have their own private plunge pools that is a luxury yacht that will take you from the airport uh, 15 minutes luxury check-in champagne caviar or cookies and milk for the kids so there's the over the water um beach villas with freshwater swimming pools with the jets they're beautiful. Next one. We also have the yoga and fitness trainer, kids club. They have the marine biologist. They have a submarine. They have all kinds of things there. This is the Grand Canada Villa. It's on the end here. It's two stories, 6,500 square feet, and it's only three bedrooms. You can come with a butler, a nanny, a chef, or none of those. When the check-in is done, it's done along the way, so they will drop the clients off right there at their villas and then um, they don't have to check in at the front. Next slide. Again, another picture of the Grand Canada Villa. It has its own infinity pool. It has its own dock. So when they do excursions, if you have those kind of clients that want complete privacy and they don't want to be associated with anyone, let's say if they're a celebrity, they can pick them up there at their villa and they can take them off to the equator excursions or their diving or whatever they want to do. Um, or the submarine can pick them up there and uh, they can just be exclusive and, and not have to mingle. Next slide. We're going to see some images of the interior. And because of the lighting, it's kind of hard the way it is. But the living room on the left, and then one of the bedrooms on the top right, and then another bedroom on the bottom right. Next slide. Another uh, visual of the living room. Next slide. Now we're over in um, our beach villas on the same property. So as you can see, this is the ones, the one to the right is the over the water um, beach villa. And then the one to the left looks like it is one of our garden villa interiors. Next slide. Spacious bathrooms and they're over the water. Um, all of them, this is pretty custom for most of them. And they have the outdoor pool and then shower and then they have the indoor. This is our uh, two bedroom. We have eight of these with their own plunge pools and the canopy decks. They're great for families. And just kind of give you a visual of where it's located. There's 20 dive sites around the island, PADI certified courses for beginners, a bubble maker and seal team program for the kids, extensive water Three, two, one. And then this one right here just shows the, the reef regeneration and the outrigger in their taking pride in the ozone. 
layer and try to regenerate. A lot of these reefs are being deteriorated because of climate change and things like that. So they're constantly helping rebuild the reefs in Fiji and here and everywhere so that we have these to come and the fish will still come. The submarine underneath that picture and then all the water sports and activities and paddle boarding. Next slide. Just some of the restaurants they have there, various restaurants there. They have a chapinyaki restaurant, the blue salt seafood. Now we're over in Thailand. We have two properties here. We have um, Phuket and we have Koh Samui. When your clients are staying at our property in Koh Samui, for the outrigger expert agents, the amenity is a one hour massage. So that's definitely an advantage for you to become an outrigger loyalist. Next slide. So some of the pictures of our smaller check-in or boutique hotel in Koh Samui and some of the rooms and almost every room there has its, its uh, outside plunge pool and then the beautiful sunsets in Koh Samui. Next slide. The bathrooms, they spare no expenses. They're just gorgeous. And this is kind of standard, the top right, where they have the indoor, outdoor shower, the big round tub. And so now we're over on the next slide. We're in um, Laguna Paquette, and this is in Bangtao Beach with 255 stylish Thai contemporary rooms and suites with private balconies showcasing views of the Adaman Sea or the Tropical Lagoon, which is just gorgeous. And this property is huge. They have the four bedroom villa, which is great for families and their own pools and nannies, and then the interior. More pictures your pool suite interior and like I said if that is your standard run of the house that's pretty nice um, so that is Koh Samui and now I'm going over to the next slide which would be the two bedroom villa with its own pool as well these are great for families when you have those kind of uh, accommodations and then the next one the next slide would be the um, Guam property. On the top floor is where our club lounge is for your clients to have their full breakfast in the morning and their cocktails. So they have amazing views of this Tamron Beach, which is just the most beautiful beach on, on Guam. And 600 rooms. It sits on top of a designer mall with Gucci and Louis Vuitton. So if your clients are into shopping, they will love staying there. And last but not least, the most beautiful jewel in the Indian Ocean, which is Outrigger Mauritius. This city it's off the coast of South Africa, closer to Johannesburg, and it's about a three-hour plane ride, three-and-a-half-hour plane ride. It is a luxury five-star property with more plantation-style villas. You can see the aerial view of it. And then the last slide, I have one slide of this property here, where it has the round circular bed and then the indoor outdoor swimming pool. And of course, all of these have their own Navasana spa and their own therapists that are amazing. And the last slide is Outrigger offers videos, collateral, everything. And a lot of that you can just get from the um, expert agent site. You can get your travel agent rates from that site. But just to reiterate, on the top right picture is the um, beach bed and breakfast where the fourth night's free, breakfast or lunch is included, or breakfast and something else is included. They, we have information on our Hawaii vacation condos. Who doesn't charge resort fee? Who doesn't charge for parking? Little tidbits. And then your collateral in the middle, we have some new brochures. They're four folds and two page, just two flaps. But it's of the Waikiki, Outrigger Waikiki Beach and the Outrigger Reef. And they're just very thorough. We can send them to you on PDF or send them to you if you're doing a show. And there's just so much that we can offer. And the bottom left one is the wedding piece but we also have more and we also have a, a youtube on that and the <coughs> 2019 travel professional guide which is actually a 2020 because we will not uh change anything on that until the reef is done and the new property in kona is in there so mahalo Nui Loa, for your time and 
I hope that you've learned a lot today and that you can start having a, a better understanding and education on the Outrigger hotels and resorts and that um, it will help you better sell to your clients. If there's any questions, please feel free to ask me at this time. And again, thank you for your time today. Okay, we have um, a lot of questions. Okay. Um, Marlene is asking, do they do resorts for a day? For outrigger not normally i mean they will do like you know for them to come and hang out at the pool and stuff no not normally they do not because that's then it would make the hotel overcrowded and just to we don't do um we don't do uh spring break we will only allow so many in a room and they have to, if they're a certain age, they have to be someone 18 or older has to be in there with them. So we're not the spring break kind of hotel where you can bring that in. Sports groups, that's another thing. We do have like soccer and volleyball teams, stuff like that. But yeah, if we do that, then we're going to have an overcrowded pool and then our guests, it's kind of an inconvenience. Okay. And they don't offer that with a club pass for the day either. But if it's a travel agent that might want to come there, we there are special circumstances. But we don't usually offer that very often with the cruise boats. However, Embassy Suites does offer something like that. Okay, next question. Do I have to complete the training before booking? No, you can book. But in order to get the points and in order to get the amenity, it's all done through there. Okay, next question. Are group bookings accepted and what are the conditions? Well, it all depends. Um, and I'm not the group expert, but we do have a group department and they could answer those questions um, of what you know what the requirements are what the deposit is how many days what the cancellation fees are i'm not a specialist on that but if they would like to know more then they could email me and i would be more than happy to transfer them you know direct that over to um, the group department that can answer all of their questions okay perfect next referring to waikiki what is the name of the other property that you manage where there are two towers there are two of them. So the one, the, the, that is the Embassy Suites in Waikiki. So it's Hilton Embassy Suites, and that one would not be on our rewards program because the rewards are coming from um, Hilton and IHC, but we will put an amenity in the room for them, but they just won't get the points. So, and the other one that has two towers is the Outrigger Reef, but that is ours. Um, what is the best time of the year to travel to Waikiki in regards to weather and peak times? And are the beaches sw uh, safe to swim in? In Waikiki Beach, perfectly safe. Um, they're, they're very still and the break is so far out, it's about a mile out. You can actually walk on the beaches at night, most people do. It's, it's nice to stroll on the beach. Um, and it's, it's wonderful all year round, 80 degrees all year round, but to avoid the cooler weather, um, if you're on the outer islands, there's a rainy season that runs so oh, like during the winter months, so November, December, January, February. Um, in Waikiki, it hardly ever rains. And if it rains, they call it pineapple juice because one car will be wet and the car next to it won't be. So it could be on one, one part of Diamond Head and then the other part of town isn't. It is the driest, uh, more, more desert side of the island. And that's why Waikiki is such a great destination because it rarely rains there. And I go there often, and I I don't I don't know if I've seen rain there in the last couple of years since I've been there. It does rain, but they have the puffy clouds, and they kind of blow away. Next question: Which outrigger resorts would be for budget families? The Ohanas. And the Ohanas are about a block away from the beach. So the Ohana East is one block from the um, reef, no, not the reef, the Alrig Waikiki, and it's right next door to the Sheraton Kaiulani. And the other one is behind the International Marketplace, the Malia. Those are probably more budget, and you can get agent rates there as low as $99. Okay, 
the night. Um, next question, will there be any fam trips for Fiji? We are looking at one this year, maybe in October. Um, and so we'll be interviewing people because it's such a popular destination. Um, and we are going to be doing that. And we're also going to be doing some to our outrigger properties on, in Hawaii as well. Um, another question was, what is an adult pool and are they available at family resorts as well? Yes, and that's normally where they have them. And basically, we like to call them quiet zones. So if your child is well-behaved and it can come there and, and, and act a little more like an adult and not be screaming and, and, and splashing, because and, 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 some people just want a quiet, nice time at the pool. They want to sleep and rest. And so we just want a quiet zone. And so that's what they mean by the adult pool or the quiet zone. So uh, any children can come there that are well behaved that can um, be a little quieter. <laughs> so basically, that's what it is. It's a quiet zone. Next question. Um, another fam trip question about the Maldives. Will there be a fam trip for Maldives? Probably not. And honestly, I have not even been there. If if they have one, I want to go. <laughs> it, it's a it's a sixteen hour flight so it would be about 10 days so in that we would probably if we ever did something it would be thailand maldives because you'd have to go through dubai or singapore and then fly from there it's, it's a long long journey but if they ever want to go we would be more than happy to um you know set something up for them um next question where can i find the travel agent rates and training um, it's under Outrigger Agent Expert. Let me look at my middle name tag here. I'm pretty sure it's www. You know, I can send you some information with a sheet on it, with all this information on it. But right now, at the top of my head, let me tell you exactly what it's called. It's Outrigger Expert Agent. No, OutriggerAgent.com. www.outriggeragent. Dot com. Okay. And that's the travel professional website. And they can find the rates and the training there? Yes. As a matter of fact, what they do is they, when they want to know what the rates are, and even if they didn't want to go on that and do it and take the course, if they just want to go on www.outrigger.com and they just, when it says special rates, what do you want, AAA, you want senior rates, do you want, you know, this and that, then you just type in uh, industry rates and put the IATA number in there and it's going to give you a month at a glance of what the rooms are. But if they are going on the agent side, I think the rates are a little bit cheaper. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, we have one more question and that's it. Sure. Um, what is your favorite outrigger destination, um, resort or hotel? Mm, I love the outrigger Waikiki. I have not been to the Asia Pacific properties. They are lovely and they're gorgeous. I'm sure I would have a favorite there, but outrigger Waikiki is my favorite because I love being in the heart and and uh, where it's where the beach comes alive the views from our balconies are spectacular because i grew up in hawaii and i feel like if i don't see diamond head i don't feel like i've been to hawaii and the water is so clear and to see the surfers in, in early early in the morning when you wake up and you're having coffee on your lanai it's just amazing and at night you see everybody walking around and you can hear all the music from the hotels it's what I think of and remember as a young girl in Hawaii. But Kauai is my favorite island. It's the oldest of the chain. It's had a, a longer time for erosion. It's got beaches all around the island, wet caves, dry caves, amazing hikes. And it's a beautiful destination. So I like Kiohuna Plantation. And um, I haven't stayed at Waipoli, but I hear it's amazing. But I love the south side of that island. So that's my answer. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, is there anything else you would like to say? No, but uh, stay tuned. We've got lots of things happening with us. We're always evolving and purchasing new properties. We have amazing investors. And I'm not sure if anyone's aware of this, but 
when KSL Purchase does, they also purchase the Apple Leisure Group. And so in our portfolio, we have Monarch Beach, which is not in my deck. And that used to be the St. Regis and Dana Point. There's Squaw Valley, um, Alpine Meadows, the AM Resort Collection, Travel Impressions, and when, when ALG, which is now Apple Vacations and the old um, Mark Travel Group out of Milwaukee. So that's why they call it One ALG. Apple name will eventually go away and it'll just be ALG. We don't, we all operate separately, but we're under the same investor. So there's a lot of deep pockets involved now with Outrigger. So you're going to see a lot of great changes. And the Reef is looking at a $100 million renovation, which will completely change the look and it's going to be done sophisticated and slow where there's no no one will even know and there'll be all brand new rooms by april and no one would even know there was anything going on it's only when they do the public areas and honestly there there are people that would love to stay there with uh, you know when they do those construction rates or whatever they call them hard hat rates because it's not it's not it's not cheap to stay at the beachfront <laughs> anyway so that's it so stay tuned and please sign up for our loyalty program there's so much advantage to that and you can and, and when you're booking our condos if you book five nights or more you get fifty dollars on top of your commission right now if you book the beachcomber if you book three nights or more there's 75 dollars on top of your commission there are so many advantages to being part of the loyalty program because you can't get those incentives unless you're part of the loyalty program. Okay. Well, thank you anyway, so much for coming today. Oh, yes. I'm Mali Kalikimaka and Haoli Makihikiho, which means Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And hopefully, hopefully we see you in an outrigger soon.